fantastic matchup in terms of uh, at the end they link out the disjoint that can be used against Jigglypuff to wall her out. However, if Jigglypuff gets in, she had a pretty decent punish game against Link just because he's a fast faller. Her combo game will work a little bit better on him than other characters. But right now we're seeing them kind of... They both have a very aggressive neutral game at this point. Uh, right now, um, well, Chewie had center stage, but now he's losing it and go back to it. And what Chewie gonna want to do a lot in this matchup is try to wall out with the neutral air. As you guys know, Link that's a great bomb recovery, by the way. Um, Link neutral air, it lasts for many, many frames. And as you see, with that down air, Jigglypuff is unable to challenge it because Link had to disjoint out. Okay. Let's see, right now, if if Chewie can play patient, he should be able to get this first stock. Great forward, great forward air. Caught the jump in at that point. <laughs> One thing that a lot of characters can use against Link to their advantage is um, when they have control of that bomb, they will be able to um, do knee drop combos or throw it to create like a hitbox for Link to plank with. So that was good use of the bomb. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to continue and advantage play after that. All right, right now with the Chewy platform camping a little bit. Unfortunately, the dash tackle is still in there. Oh. Alright, uh, sorry guys if you couldn't hear me earlier, um, the mic was not close to me, but hopefully it's more. Alright, all good? Alright, do that. Okay. The what? Yeah? Oh, that was a great forward smash at that point. All right. All right, so uh, Chewie did take game one. Something that he really did great during this time is when he had the lead, he was able to keep a defensive mode, while at the same time, when he won his advantage state, then he's able to convert off of it accordingly. Um, what I'd love to see more is um, when Jigglypuff is at the ledge, try to create that good ledge trapping game that Link has. You can use D-Drop Bomb, you can use Nair, continuous Nair to try to get um, Jigglypuff into a disadvantage station position. But no, that great job. Right, let's, see where, let's see where they go for the counter pick. Alright, so we go to FD. It's a great choice for Jigglypuff. Um, because, oh gosh. Really. Okay, well, we, we start stock one with an FD. But um, it's a great stage for Jigglypuff because Jigglypuff, she doesn't have to worry about platform camping as much, which is always a, a hassle for her. Um, but right now, we'll see if Chewie can make that comeback. Great boomerang to forward air. Uh, the great thing about boomerang is that it launches almost at an upward, ang complete upward, upward angle. And so uh, Link is able to convert off that. But right now, Jigglypuff got high percent. And so if Chewie can get a setup, then he'll be able to uh, not have too much of a deficit going into, game, into the next stop. Alright, all right, he gets out of the ledge trap situation. Oh, but she's trying to push him back off stage. Oh, great use to that boomerang. Um, so the great thing about uh, boomerang coming back is that it launches the opponent back at Link. So if Jigglypuff was out of range, then the boomerang coming back and helps him uh, bring her back into Link's hitbox. Oh, great edge guard distance, and he gets the... Oh, he doesn't get the attack, unfortunately. Ooh, that's rough. Okay, so we're now back at a one-stock lead for Ben. Uh, one thing that Chewie could do in this also is... Um, he's not really using a lot of his ground options. Such as, like, Link has a great down tilt, for example, that has a lot of range on it. He could use that on the ground, but right now... He's trying to stick to a very like aerial-based game, game at that point, a lot of grabs. 
All right, great dash to up, great dash to up tilt. So, uh, for those who played Smash 4 and a little bit in the game, uh, as you guys know, Cloud had an amazing down air there. While Link doesn't have the exact same disjoint and longevity that uh, Cloud Smash 4 down air had, it's a, still a great down air to use in this matchup specifically. Great up out of shield. All right, let's see what Chewie's gonna do with the ledge shot situation. Oh, great forward tilt with the bomb setup. Oh, okay. Uh, no, great job with Ben. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm gonna say you. Uh, Jigglypuff, great aerial mobility to get out of it, but unfortunately he has to keep well. Ooh, that was not a good up B. Uh, one thing about the um, linked up B is if it gets the singular initial hit and it doesn't hit anything good, like like an actual hitbox, and it's weak, then basically Link is a sitting duck during that period. So let's hope um, Chewie doesn't use that as much. Ooh. And he gets to with the back here. Let's see what will be the counter pick for this. Alright, so we'll go back to FD. I don't think Shui did bad on this stage. I think it's more of like uh, with the FD, like it was really your early FD at like 35. And I think that's probably. Uh, probably been the bane of his existence in this match. But we'll see. Right now they're playing up. They're playing. They're playing each other out in the neutral. Uh, right now, uh, Ben making great use of a lot of cross ups and a lot of bait and punishing. Um, so right now, Chewy he can have to bait better because right now what's happening is he's either facing too far, which allows Ben to whip punish him really easily, or facing too close, and that leads it into a, a punish at close quarter. So. See? Okay, well, we see another misinput that causes Chewie to fall to his death, unfortunately. <sighs> right, great dash attack. Um, Link dash attack is a huge arcing hitbox, which is really good to punish as an anti-air. So that's really good usage of that. Bochi not able to follow up with the ledge trap situation. See, so right now, what uh, Jigglypuff is doing is, because Chewie's using so much down air from above, She's punishing by going horizontally, do horizontal punish from the side. And since Link had no hitbox out there, he's basically getting getting punished a lot for that. But um, since Ben missed base there, Chewie would be able to get the punish. Okay, right now, right now, if uh, Chewie can get a good conversion, he'll be able to bring it back to even. So the Jiggly Puff is still light. Anyway. Alright, light trap situation. Get them off with the neutral air. Ooh, okay, he didn't get a jab block with that tech situation, but uh, he at least got the punch with the dash attack. Oh, that's a great run back from Chewie. Ooh, I, don't, I would not advise for that. I would not advise for that at all. Now he had no stage control. Okay, good. He gets it back with the grab. These, these random up -beats are not the brightest move from Chewie. Ooh, that's a great up -beat. Caught him in the air. Great, so we're seeing a lot more nair usage from Chewie, and that's really helping him out in those like air-to-air -air combat. Unfortunately, uh, Ben gets the punish with the uh, with the back air that point. Okay. okay. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna see if um Chewie probably gonna look for maybe an up B out of shield. Um we can maybe get um like a nair to um a near conversion. Oh, he tried to counter with that up B, but no, that no cigar at that point. Mm, all right. Yeah, team. Even though he tried to go for the fair, which would have beaten out a lot of Jimmy Clark hitboxed it, since he missed base did, and that's, that's what happens when you're, you're a sorority and you misuse everything there. So, uh, GG to them. Uh, in the meantime, I will be getting off the mic. I might have to play. But in the meantime, hopefully someone will come up here and replace me. Have a great night, y'all.